Hello everybody, my name is Numan and welcome back to episode 7 of my Trash or Treasure series. Today we're going with a legendary KSN SMG, manufactured by Dahl. We're going to go over how to get the gun, what its strengths and weaknesses are, and then give my overall thoughts on this weapon. But before we continue, I just want to remind you guys that I test guns just like this, work on shiny new builds, and do random ass playthroughs over on my Twitch channel. So if you're keen on jumping in and hanging out while I do just that, I'll be putting the link to my Twitch channel in the description down below. And on top of that, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, please consider subscribing too. Your support will mean an absolute ton, and I appreciate each and every single one of you. Now, with all that said and done, let's learn some things, shall we? So, the KSN. What is it, and how do you get it? As I mentioned at the start of the video, the KSN is a legendary Dahl SMG, and drops from Captain Tron in Athenus on Mayhem 6 and above. So, basically that means if you're on, if you're not Mayhem 6 or above, you're not going to be able to get the gun, so make sure you're on that to make sure you're getting the gun, as well as staying above Mayhem 8 if you want a guaranteed anoint. So, with all that out of the way, let's quickly break down the stats. And, as you can see on the item card, it's still really solid. It can roll in all elements, kind of low base magazine size, but its damage is still pretty high, even considering the fact that it got nerfed at the start of June and had its accuracy, crit damage, and base damage reduced. But as you can see in the background gameplay, those nerfs didn't really do much for the viability of this gun and it's still incredibly solid. I feel it just sort of fell victim to power creep and guns like the flipper ended up coming out that just power creeped it and phased this gun out of the most meta. But this gun is still incredibly solid and if you want to change the pace, I highly recommend grabbing yourself one. As far as the recommended anoint goes, obviously there's two. 390 and consecutive hits. 390 once again if you're fighting trash mobs, consecutive hits if you're fighting stronger enemies and bosses. As far as the elements go, having yourself a radiation and a cryo one will do wonders. However, grab yourself a corrosive one as well if you're fighting bosses like Wotan, because for some reason Wotan has cryo immunity, who knows why. Those are the elements and the annoyant out of the way, and let's just quickly break down this gun into its positives and negatives. So, let's start with the positives first. Now, there's quite a few actually, and yeah, this gun in my opinion is still incredibly solid for the few reasons. One is that its damage is still quite high, and combined with its fairly fast fire rate, it's still capable of dishing out a ton of consistent damage, which is what you want for an SMG, and any weapon for MOS in particular, especially the fact that it can do a ton of splash damage. The next positive of this, and it's quite a huge positive, is that it can double proc Minesweeper. Now what I mean by that, is that its initial projectile hits can proc Minesweeper, and its sticky explosions can also proc Minesweeper. So essentially you're getting two explosions for the price of one, and considering the fact that this gun also can roll in multiple projectile variants, yeah, you can sort of see where this is going, and this gun is just able to do a ton of damage. As far as the amount of projectiles go, I recommend a times two, as this the best compromise between ammo consumption and fire rate. If you're using the time sleep variant, you're going to consume way too much ammo and you're just going to be reloading more than you're actually firing the gun. So yeah, that's the balance you have to strike there. So yeah, times two variant is the safest bet. As far as the negatives go, there's about two. One of them's not really negative, but it's something I figured you guys need to know about. So let's just start with the major negative, and that was its accuracy nerf. And it's felt quite hard when you're trying to snipe targets. So, essentially, maintain close to medium distances with this gun, and you'll be right as rain. The next negative is that it requires some fairly significant investment in ammo regeneration if you choose to use this gun with the Blastmaster class mod. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just that you have to compromise between a balance between green tree and red tree in order to use the Blastmaster class mod effectively. But if you manage to strike that compromise, the Blastmaster class mod is incredibly solid with the KSN as well. So. Those are the positives and the negatives out of the way, and I guess with that, the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you have suggestions for future guns I should consider in this series, do let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing too if you're new to the channel. And yeah, aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!